This is exam two for ECE 201. This is a closed book, closed notes test, and you should have completed the videos that include chapter three, page 77. If you haven't done this, don't look at this exam. Let's take a look at the problems in the exam, and you'll then have 60 minutes to do this. The first problem, can you write the note equations for the circuit below using only the inspection algorithm of chapter three? Once you do that, can you then solve for V2 using Kramer's rule. I'd like you to show all of your work. For problem number two, can you find the current I2 by superposition? For problem number three, could you thevenize this circuit with respect to terminals A and B? In other words, could you replace all of this by a thevenin equivalent circuit and solve for the current I sub X using your thevenin equivalent circuit? For problem number four, I took some data on a Sony Discman CD player, which operated with two AA batteries, had a voltage of about three volts, and I found that the current that was drawn by the player when the motor was spinning was about 420 milliamps. Could you design a voltage divider such that I could use this CD player in a car if I picked the resistor R1 to be 15 ohms? In other words, could you solve for R2? Now you can think of the CD player as a resistor we know the voltage across it and the current through it, and we could approximate it as about 7.14 ohms. When the songs are playing, the current drops to about 250 milliamps. That's equivalent to having about a 12 ohm resistor. Using the value of R2 that you picked in 4A, could you calculate the voltage across the CD player under these conditions? Lastly, could you specify the wattage ratings of R1 and R2 under these two scenarios of 420 milliamps and 250 milliamps? In other words, what's the maximum power dissipated for R1 and R2? This is exam number two, and you have 60 minutes to complete this.